guys? So now that we know the blow-off valve is working and the uh, wastegate is working and the charge piping will hold, we're going to go ahead and pull the motor and transmission out of the bottom of the car so that we can service the water pump that we knew was bad when we purchased the vehicle. Uh, we're going to do a new water pump, a new timing belt tensioner. Uh, we're going to throw a clutch in it while it's out because it's got a turbo on it now, so we're just going to service the 200,000 mile clutch that's probably in it, make sure that that's good to go. And um, pretty much that's it. Uh, keep it as cheap as possible, keep it close to the budget that we're shooting for. Right now we're still in a good spot. The uh, clutch seems to be holding fine, but we're just going to do it to allevi alleviate some of the issues that could arise with a uh, turbo kit and rallying it. So we want to be able to send it as hard as possible without causing any issues with something other than the turbo kit. So I hope you enjoy. This video is going to be a little bit longer, but bear with me because there's going to be a lot of cool content. It'll be time lapsed. It'll be the motor coming out. Servicing the timing belt, water pump, clutch, all that stuff is going to be time lapsed, but you'll see it all happening and you'll see it go back together. So I hope you enjoy. Let's go. Time to start ripping the side off. We do the timing belt water pump. We might pull the tranny off first. Not sure yet. But motor's out. It's quick and easy. Now we gotta get it ripped apart and put back together. Say hi Chan. Or pick up bolts. That works too. Let's go. What's going on guys? So don't mind the mess. I haven't been recording what the updates on the uh PT is, but as you saw the motor was out. We actually got the uh, timing belt all taken care of and the water pump is all on. So now we uh, pulled the motor and transmission out of the uh, frame there, got the tranny disconnected, got the clutch out and we're just getting ready to put the new clutch in. So once we get the new clutch in, we'll put the tranny back on, throw everything back in the frame, put it back in the car and we'll be good to go. So hopefully I'll uh, get to be able to record all that stuff going down and keep you updated. I just didn't want the video being too long. So this is just a quick break to kind of uh, update everything that's been going on with the PT. So it's getting ready to go back together right now.
with that, my phone stopped recording because I got a phone call. So we got the rest of the uh, stuff hooked up on the motor, uh, started it up, noticed that it was running like it was in limp mode. And uh, when we were installing the motor, the chain had slipped a little bit because we were using an older chain. I uh, didn't want to look for the right chain, just trying to get it back together. And it had broken the map sensor, so I'm going to go pick that up. But I want to get this video put together, get it uploaded, so that you can see the whole process of everything that we did. And the next video will be the new map sensor in, first startup of it hopefully running right, getting the wheels back on, and some other surprises that we did do it while in the process of bolting everything in. So, until next time, like, subscribe, comment. Thanks. Bye.